Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sadiq Ali channel. Today in our Python tutorial number 8, we are diving into the fascinating world of dictionaries. Please pause the video. It would be good if you read all the definition. So let me tell you in short and more simple way what exactly is a dictionary in Python. Uh, dictionary is a built-in data type that represents a collection of key value pair. Well, uh, think of it as a special container that holds a bunch of key value pair. It's like a magic box where each open where each key open up to reveal its associated value. In some other programming languages, uh, you might hear it being called an associative array map or hash map. Um, it would be good if you just pause the video uh, to read all these uh, definitions and interesting points. Uh, so let's break it down. Uh, let me tell you what is key and what is value. Just like uh, name uh, has a value of Bob. And also the age has a value of 22 or 21, just like age, whatever age you have. A job, just like a software engineer or a python developer or a c++ developer name age job these are keys and bob 22 and python developer these are values just like that so uh, let's take a simple dictionary here We will take a simple example here uh, for better understanding. So let me tell you about a dictionary. So let's uh, break it down. Storing with style dictionary uh, store data values using key value pair. Picture is like a list but with labels. Um, they are order changeable and don't allow duplicate. You get to decide what goes where, and uh, it has a flexibility at its code change, add or remove item. Operating the dictionary is like a dynamic vault of information, and we will do that, and you will see. Uh, just like key matter, uh, no two item can share the same key. Each key open the door to a unique value. Or uh, nesting power dictionary can nest within each other, creating a hierarchy of information. Let's uh, put this into a practice. Take a look at this sim simple example, simple dictionary. Now let's access some values. Now uh, have a great look at this simple example. And uh, you can uh, modify, add, or remove item like a pro. Uh, and I trade through the key value pairs.
and adding a new key value pair. And uh, don't worry about uh, for loop, I will teach you that later. And let's print it. Sorry. Let's see. As you can see, a simple error here. As you can see in the output section. And uh, note that as you see that the whole dictionary is enclosed in curly braces. Each key is separated from its value by a column and a commas are used to separate the item in the dictionary. Uh, let's uh, talk about key function. The key function is uh, your go-to guide for all the keys in your dictionary. Want to know what's inside the key collection just call student.key. Uh, now uh, let's look into the value function if you are curious about the values in your dictionary the value function is your friend so student dot values will spill the beans on all the values stored within as you can see in the output section Uh, delete function and uh, now let's talk about the delete function using del student you can gracefully bid farewell to your dictionary but be aware when it's gone it's gone now no looking back so let's take a simple example let's do that We can do that with a Dell keyword.
uh, verification using is or uh, not in and sometimes you need to double check if a key is present in your dictionary for that uh, use in or not in As you can see in the output section, As you can see, uh, let me give you a simple assignment here on my GitHub. Uh, you can check the assignment on GitHub. Uh, practice copy function and form pop function. A simple assignment okay it's gonna be a simple one and now let's talk about uh, get function ever wonder if a key exists the get function come to the rescue it uh, lets you check if a key is present and retrieve its value if it is as you can see Uh, iteration and lastly you can traverse uh, through your dictionary using a for loop it's like a guided tour through all the keys practice make perfect so try out the get coffee pop find pop item function on your own and uh, we'll do the iteration here a simple example And don't worry about the for uh, loop, I will teach you that later. As you can see in the output section. that's it and so there you have it a quick tour of some nft dictionary functions practice them experiment with different dictionaries and get compatible because in the next tutorial we are diving into condition tutorial number nine is just around the corner thanks for joining and remember to like and subscribe the sadikali channel happy coding and uh, i will upload a short basic project related to dictionary so stay tuned and don't worry about the code i will upload the code on my github and the uh, link will be in the description thank you so much happy coding and uh, let me tell you something the next topic will be condition